Hey, what's up, everybody? So watch me work Wednesday. I'm going to talk out what I do um, for a podcast where we just over and over again rotate, loop, I should say, the same exact footage. So I have this podcast here for JetNation.com, the greatest Jet fan site, forum site in the world. And what I'll do is I'll go into After Effects and I'll make a one-minute looping animation so there's the source of the new one okay so what happened was so let me say i duplicate let's say last week's podcast and i changed the audio right and then i'm left with in this case the record sense i i want to replace all of this this looping video so i have my new video here that i created in after effects and what I would do is I'm going to cut the first one in, double check, of course, I, I know it should be right, but good evening, Jets fans. Okay, so everything looks good, and now, in a sense, what I want to do is loop, after this transition, I just want to loop this graphic. Okay, I got the footballs flying through the screen, and the text stays the same the whole time. So I have uh, 55 seconds of this loop. So what's going to happen here, I'm replacing all of these 55 seconds. It's 50 minutes, 50 of these clips. How am I going to loop this? Am I doing it the right way? Maybe somebody in the comments will tell me a better way, but this is the way I'm going to do it. I am going to mark an in here. I realized... I need more time because of how much I used for this in the past. I had this one minute straight up. So I'm going to make sure I have enough time. Got to make sure my I'm not on the dissolves. I'm not going to get cut off. What do I have on the dissolve here? It's a very short dissolve. It's only like 15 frames, I think. One. Yeah, 25 frame center dissolve. So as long as I have more than this one minute straight up. I should be fine, which I do. I have one minute and one second here. And now I'm going to start using B. I'm going to start cutting this in. One. All right, it says Manish. Two. I probably don't even need to change my in and out on the sequence. No, I don't. I don't. So Z, I'm just going to hit B. At this point, I would probably actually, just for time's sake, I would, uh, I would. I would lose the monitoring button right there. So I don't need to monitor. And I'm going to keep going probably to only about, I don't know, 9 or 10 when I get bored. And then I'm going to render. And you're going to see why in a second here. And I'm going to expand this out while it renders so I can talk about something else. Render. Okay. So while this is rendering, if you see here at the end of this timeline, I just want to make this point. This is what I call timeline black. This is a title with just a background of empty black on it. And I'm going to show you the reason why when this and, and renders. This is not a clip. This is not part of the, 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 the source thing, drag that empty or by mistake or anything like that. Uh, all right, let's save. Okay, so it rendered those. So this is just a timer. But because I want to, in theory, when this ends at the right time, I'm going to want to do a dissolve out or whatnot. If I don't have that timeline black in there, I don't take it out. I just hate having a timeline that has that doesn't end right. So now I'd have to lift things. I, I, I want to dissolve the end of the timeline. So um, I don't know if I talked about that in another video before, but I always leave its title. If I zoom in there. I call it timeline black. It is just uh, a title with a full screen of black there. All right, so let's get back to what I'm doing here. So I rendered these, and now I want to copy and paste this these whatever it was 10 11 clips i'm going to copy and paste them into the monitor i'm going to mark it in and out of the whole thing i'm going to mark it in here and i'm going to hit b great so it took all these 10 and it and the render state i don't have to render i have to render the one at the cut which i'm going to do here again and again and again right i'm going to get rid of this old one I'm not going to render this for time's sake in the video, but I would render these three, and then all I have to do now is go to the end, 
We want to thank once again our guest Manish Mehta. And give uh, give Alex a follow on Twitter. Alex, you want to get your Twitter handle? Yep, uh, my Twitter handle. And. Let's just pretend here. Who cares what it is? But imagine here, and I'm, I'm going to do the dissolve out. Um, we're not going to get specific on it for this video's time sake. And I would dissolve out, render, and I'm done. I just replaced an hour looping video. Let's let's put, turn the monitor on so I can see it. Come on, come on, baby, come on. All right. So I just replaced an hour looping video, one minute at a time. Hopefully, really short. That was Watch Me Work Wednesday. JetNation.com is the best site for Jet fans. And AvidBeer.com is the best site for learning Avid. And have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Some people think Avid is really hard to learn, but that is not the case. And now there's an online course to prove it. Get all of the info and all of the details at AvidBeer.com.